Hello everybody and welcome to Favourite Rugby on Favourite Sports. Rusty Rasmus has named his side to face Ireland in the second test uh, taking place in Durban this weekend at Kings Park. It is the most experienced Springbok team ever. After he made zero changes, the exact same 23 that beat Ireland in Pretoria will try and beat Ireland once again uh, down in Durban. And it is a <clears throat> history-making uh, team because... Jesse Creel and Damien Delende will become the most capped centre pairing in South African history when they play together for the 30th time. And um, a very interesting squad. Before we get into it, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so last weekend, it was a the second most experienced team ever. And this weekend, Erasmus has um, named an unchanged starting 15, which has 990 combined test caps among them, surpassing the 987 um, amassed by the uh, Springboks in the World Cup final against New Zealand. Um, this year, we could very, very well have the first ever Springbok team to boast over 1,000 caps in the starting 15. Let's have a look at the side, shall we? Which we know because it's last weekend. So, in the front row, it is Oxen Chair, Bongi Manambi, and France Malherba uh, packing down in what was an interesting scrum battle. Not as much ascendancy as we probably would have liked to have had. Um, it's far more technical, as Rassi Rasmus was sort of uh, alluding to, rather than sort of that outright dominance apart from that final scrum. Um, so, I mean, we all know that Kheros Dienekamp, uh, Vincent Koch, Malcolm Marx would have taken so much confidence out of that final scrum. In the second row, Ibn Etzebeth next to Franco Mostert, Sia Khaleesi captains the side next to Pierce Jeff Katoy, and Quaka Smith, who gets another opportunity despite a couple of challenges. Um, I think generally, I think overall, I think Quaka Smith had a reasonable game. Just those sort of two drops were, you know, the, the, the major red flags. He will have another opportunity uh, this weekend, though. Uh, Hunter Pollard, Will Ponder, Fafter Kirk, both of them maybe not having their strongest games a week ago, especially maybe Andre Pollard. However, um, you know, we all know the cast, the pedigree of those two players. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think we, you know, they will probably... Um, I think they'll respond quite well this weekend and, and will expect much stronger performance, I think, from probably both of them. Uh, the rest of the bachelor line, as mentioned, remains unchanged. Chesney Colby, Kurt Lawrence, Billy the back three, Damien Delendi in that uh, center pairing with Jesse Creel on the back of a man of the match performance for Jesse Creel, where he played tribute to both Lakanya Am and Andrew S. Tayson for their, their help in preparing them for last weekend, as well as Damien Delendi talking about how much of a privilege it is um, to play alongside him. Off the bench, it is Malcolm Mark, Chaos Denekamp, Vincent Koch, Salman Murat, Arke Sneman, Mark Van Grant Williams, and Sasha Feimer in Gomezulu and the Bomb Squad. Speaking about the squad, Rassi Rasmus said um, the following. He said, It's always tough facing Ireland. They are a quality team. They are ranked second in the world. And as we saw last week, they never stop fighting. So we know the magnitude of the challenge that awaits us this weekend. We have no doubt they'll come out even stronger this week. But we also identified the areas of the game that we need to improve on. And it's vital for us to build on our performance in our quest to win both matches. Um, in terms of speaking about the, the, the amount of caps, he said, uh, we don't really look at such things when we select the team, but this shows how blessed we are with the depth in the squad and quality of the players we have. While it may be an impressive statistic, it will by no means guarantee us a victory. We know we must go out there and play good rugby for the full 18 minutes to get the desired result. Um, speaking about the bench, for example, in particular about Kheros Dienekamp, Sal Murat, and Sasha Feinberg, Gomezulu, and the, and the youngsters, uh, Rashid Mastava said uh, they all made a strong impact off the bench, and they have immense potential as individuals. They'll definitely become more confident and settled the more they play. Uh, it was really impressive to see them step up for, um, to the challenge of facing a top side such as Ireland, and similarly to the rest of the team, they know this weekend will be an even bigger test, but they'll be up for the challenge. Um, Speaking on the Bob Squad, he said, uh, we considered a few options for the first test, a 5-3 split, a 6-2 split, and 7-1 split, and we felt that this combination is the best to counter the, the challenge Ireland poses. The replacements made a good impact uh, when they took to the field by injecting energy into the game, and we are looking forward to, uh, to much of the same from them this week. Um, he then said, we've been on the wrong side of the scoreboard on a few occasions too, and we remember how it felt to suffer a defeat against them in the World Cup pool stages, and we have no doubt they are feeling the same this week. They are a proud team and nation, and they'll be disappointed that they were unable to capitalize on a few opportunities last week close to our trial line. So they will work hard this week to fix their mistakes and ensure that they convert their chances to points. This is going to be another physical, grueling match, and just like us, they'll be determined to correct the wrongs of last week. So there we go. I think it is a case very much of if it's not uh, broken, don't fix it. And um, 
I think that's fair. I don't think, as I mentioned, when we were doing the player rarity show last week, I don't think there was any player who had a bad game. There were a couple of players who maybe had a poor game. Well, I think probably Andre, Andre Pollard probably had a bad game. Maybe if after Kirk having an average game. But those are players you expect to respond, for example, and have been responding and been at the top of the game for a long time. So I don't think you'd bin them uh, just yet. But um, so I like it. I, I, you know, I think at the same time, you know, there's no need to experiment just yet. This is about getting the... Uh, the, the, the result for this weekend is about beating Iron 2 0, sort of getting that monkey off the back, sort of really reaffirming our, our, co our dominance in the world, and then we sort of start to look to rotate for Portugal. Let me know what you think of the team down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.